Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to day 215 of our Bible reading plan. We are reading through the Bible in one year together, and I'm so glad that you joined us on the journey for today. I'm coming to you from here in Geelong, Victoria, in Australia. Just returned from my trip from uh, America and had an amazing time ministering there for the past month, but also very excited to be home, to see the family and to uh, minister around Australia, see all my family and friends here as well. So really excited about what God is doing in Australia right now. It feels like revival is in the air, revival is brewing. And so I'm really excited to be preaching in different churches and ministries and partner with what God um, does, wants to do here in Australia. And uh, I'm super excited. I'm just about to bounce over to Adelaide for a couple of weeks. I'm preaching over at Life Point Church in Adelaide. Uh, I'm preaching for Life Church as well. And I'm going to be part of EXO Conference at Life Point Church. So really excited uh, about the next few weeks and what God is going to do. And uh, just excited to be back in Australia. So let me know where you're coming from, what you're doing with your life today, uh, how God is speaking to you through the passages of scripture that we're reading. I would love to hear from you. Uh, and I'd love to share some of my thoughts and reflections with you as well. So firstly, uh, the thing that really stood out to me in Romans today is from Romans 16 verse 20, where Paul writes, the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And I loved just this simple verse that is a huge reminder um, that this is not the end. This is not all there is. There is a day coming when Jesus will return to the earth. The second coming of Jesus Christ, the final victory will be ours. And Jesus will crush Satan under our feet. We will have victory over Satan in Jesus Christ. This is not all there is. This is not the end. If we feel overwhelmed today, if we feel um, like the pressures of life are getting to us, if we feel disappointed, discouraged, we can remember that this is not the end. This is not all there is. That if we live with an eternal perspective, everything in our lives will come into alignment. Everything in our lives will come into that heavenly perspective and we'll be able to have a, a victorious spirit today, not just on that day, not just on the last day when Jesus finally crushes Satan under our feet. On that for that last battle but even today we can have victory in knowing that the victory is his on that day so uh, I want to encourage us today to live with that eternal perspective that Paul was reminding us of in Romans chapter 16 it also, um, I love this verse in First Chronicles chapter 15, verse 29. It's a bit awkward. Uh, we see it says, And as the ark of the covenant of the Lord came to sit the city of David, Michael, the daughter of Saul, looked out of the window and saw King David dancing and celebrating, and she despised him in her heart. Um, what I found very fascinating about this passage of scripture is that David was married to someone who didn't recognize what God was doing in him and through him. And because she didn't recognize what God was doing in him and through him, she ended up despising him. It ended up coming between them in their relationship. And I was thinking about this Michael character how she's married to David and she's seeing what David is doing and she's seeing everything that's going on with an earthly perspective because from an earthly perspective what David was doing looked foolish it looked embarrassing and if he's her husband he is therefore making her look foolish it's therefore an embarrassment to her so she's hating on him she's despising him because of what he's doing to her and what she perceives to be happening in the natural but she couldn't pick up what was happening in the supernatural. She didn't recognize what God was doing in him and through him. And so what God was doing in him and through him eventually came between the two of them. And so it was just a reminder to me as a single girl and to any of our single friends out there as well, that we need to make sure that we marry well, that we date well, that when we are looking for a life partner, we are looking for someone who recognizes and celebrates and can partner with what God is doing in us and through us. If they can't partner with what God is doing in us and through us, then it will eventually end up coming between us in our relationship. And so I really wanted to encourage us just as a 
a warning and just as an encouragement to any of us single people that when we are choosing a life partner, when we're dating someone, we're not just dating someone that's a Christian, uh, we're dating someone that we're equally yoked with. And that being being said, being equally, equally yoked is someone who has that same spiritual DNA as us, but someone who can also celebrate with us and partner with what God is doing in us and through us so that it doesn't end up coming between us in the future. So I'd love to pray for us today, my friend. I'd love to pray uh, that we would see life from that heavenly perspective, from that perspective of the victory that we will have in Christ. And I would love to pray that the circumstances of life right now would come into that heavenly perspective, come into alignment with what that means and, and how we can live victoriously today in light of that. And I would love to pray for us as well, if we're single, that we would marry well, that we would marry people who can recognize what God is doing in us and through us and partner with that, not despise that, that that wouldn't be something that would come between us, but that would be something that would propel us in our marriage and in um, our calling and our destiny that God has for us. So God, I just thank you for my friend today. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're speaking to us today. I thank you, Lord, for everything that you draw out of these passages of scripture to us, you reveal to our hearts, God, not just the two thoughts that I've brought here, but God, any thought that you bring to our hearts to our knowledge today as we're reading through these passages of scripture. God, we just thank you for revelation in you. We thank you, God, that you're speaking to us. We thank you, God, that you're shaping us. Uh, God, I just pray right now that we would see things from a heavenly and an eternal perspective. God, that we would be reminded that our victory is in Jesus, that the second coming of Jesus is still on its way. And that God, when you come, Jesus, when you return, we will have victory at that last battle when you tread Satan under our feet and Jesus we thank you that as we have that heavenly eternal perspective that perspective of victory on that day God I thank you that it affects this day as well I thank you that we can live uh, from victory and for victory here today as well Lord God I thank you that all of the life circumstances everything that's been overwhelming us discouraging us disappointing us God would be brought into alignment with that heavenly perspective and God I pray for your peace which surpasses all all understanding to come to our hearts and minds today. God, I also pray if any of us are single and we're watching this and we're reading this passage of scripture, God, I pray that you would help us to be people who would marry well. Lord God, help us to marry people who recognize what you are doing in us and through us and partner with that, that it's not something that will come between us, uh, but we would marry someone who is equally yoked to us, Lord God, and who can partner with us in the calling and the plan and the purpose and the destiny that you have for us. And God, we just pray blessing over marriages, people who are already married as well, Lord God, that your blessing and your favor uh, and your abundance would be over us today, Lord God. I thank you, God, for strong marriages, Lord. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you would do the work that you need to do. You would um, help us to be the people that we need to be um, to to be a good husband or a good wife to whoever we're married to today, Lord God. We just thank you and we praise you for all that you're doing in us and through us. And we give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody said... Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, my friend, for day 215 of our Bible reading plan. I'll catch you tomorrow for day 216. See you then. Bye.